Okay, so, where we left off last time was about here. Now, in the interim, which wasn't very long at all, I got some levels. Well, it's one to be exact. Um, it gives us a little more hit points and a little more attack, and that's very important. As you notice, I don't have anything, and it says my attribute is fire. You'll understand more about that in just a few seconds. <clears throat> now, back to the action. Let's go to this tree that's glowing. And we get into a battle, which I'm going to edit out. Well, sort of edit out. He tried to take the link. We'll get it back in just a second. Like I said, get my heel me. I need that. Yes, sir. That's a yow, sir. Which means okay or alright. And whatever that language is. We're almost there. Fine. <clears throat> I'm so glad to see you. I was all alone. I came here to get away from the scary monsters. Hey, have you noticed the mist is coming here? The Genesis tree is glowing. It's radiating some kind of amazing power. The Genesis tree is very warm, Vaughn. Please, go ahead and touch it. Something might happen. Let's find out. Vaughn gently touches the trunk of the Genesis tree. Something is speaking softly to Vaughn's mind. Vaughn. And now comes the meta voice. Vaughn. You are Vaughn, are you not? What you hear in the background is my son playing Pokemon. He's two and a half. Oh no, he's playing Lilo and Stitch right now. I have read your thoughts. I am speaking to your mind. I am Meta. I rock the room. I have been waiting inside this Genesis tree for someone like you. I ask you, Vaughn, do you wish to save your people from the mist? Hell yeah! Good! By combining our powers, we will rid the whole world of the mist. Let us pursue the same destiny as human and Rosaru together, working together. Yes. Fine, open your mind. Feel my presence. As long as that's all I've got to feel. The approaching mist is killing this Genesis tree. I am too weak. I will need the life force of the Genesis tree to become strong. Five, the Genesis tree. We need the power to change destiny. The power of the human spirit. Well, I thought that was just so we could do more moves, but hey. Whatever works. Vaughn, hurry. Hurry and assemble. Everyone here. So now we have a friend to help us in battle. His name is Meta and he is kick ass. Sorry. But he is. And we now have the one enemy that has been in every game, that's been an RPG, that would consider itself an RPG since the beginning of time. The Slime. Not that it's any big deal, but... Oh, and to let you know, I'm using left, right, left, left, down. This allows me to do a double hit, and it's going to take him out in one shot. Also, see how much more damage we're doing? Look at that. That's at least 30 more damage than when I used this move last time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. I rock. Okay, so Vaughn rocks. Give me a break. Now, the point of this is to make sure we get everybody. Let's see if we can get May. Vaughn! They all went to check on the wall, but they haven't come back. Vaughn, what happened? The mist is here! Oh no! That means the Siru monsters will come to Rim Elm! What should we do? Let's go to my house. Thank you, Vaughn. That would be better. Alright, take me to your house. Oh, wait a minute, Vaughn. Father. I have some experience with that. 
My father died about a year and a half ago. Hey, it's okay. I, I did the same thing that Mace did. And I'm over it. My father lived a long life and he... Anyway, moving on. Ah, but... His body was not crippled like this. The wall was broken, yet all we can do is huddle together in fear. If only there was some place safe for us. Bob, what is that? that? That's a sea root! Now I understand. Although this is all so confusing. The situation is desperate. Our only hope now is your sea root in the Genesis tree. Alright, tell everyone to gather at the Genesis tree. So we got everybody together. This is our last best hope. Bond, the Rim Elm is a duck and mist. You and the Raw Saru are our last hope. We entrust you with our lives. Everyone, we must pray together. I really got not to do that when the mic's so close, but hey. The powers of prayer is strong. Now's the time, Bond. Go to the Genesis tree. Let's go. We have to press the button here. Awaken, Genesis tree. You're going to hear this a lot. Remember the instant the heavens and the earth were born. Bond, you too must pray. Good. Harder. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, but to push away the mist. Okay, that works. At least he explained it. To revive the Genesis tree. Open your minds. Because it just ain't me. Pray hard. Let's do this, baby. What the? What's the light? Wow. Oh, sweet. The Genesis tree is growing. Wow. There's like a concussive blast coming from the Genesis tree. A concussion of light. Look at it go. Dang, it just blew them up. Into little bitty polygons. Remember, polygons are triangles. Lots of friggin' triangles. Wow. This reminds me of Chrono Trigger. Well, the light in the air, anyway. <clears throat> Thank you. Thanks to Vaughn and the people of Rim Elm, the Genesis tree has been revived. The Genesis tree has the power to drive away the mist and make a Rasuru like me stronger. The mist has left Rim Elm, but it still covers the rest of the earth. Many Genesis trees wait to be revived. Vaughn let us leave Rim Elm together to look for those Genesis trees. And what were you saying? Dad, I was not. Why not? Oh well. Anyway, that's my son Thomas. Yeah, it's a pal pal, that's right. He's got an MP5 in his hand. Don't worry, it's a fake one. Brother, don't worry. He's just in a deep sleep. How peaceful he looks. Dreaming about something nice. Vaughn. Silence. And our friend Juno. The hateful fangs of the Siru took their lives from them. To Bertie, the god of the sea, we entrust their bodies. But Ram, our leader, our great leader, on your sacred wings, take the noble souls of our friends to the valley of Noeru. Or Nuaru, whatever. May the souls find peace and eternal happiness in the distant valley of Neoru. Or Noeru, whatever. About a minute and a half left here.